gon' get these drinks out here I got money so they put it in the bag I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback I'm Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe, so you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe, but only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra, and I appreciate anything extra that y'all do. Okay, y'all, so y'all already see the title of the video, oh, so y'all also I want to mention that by now, y'all should, um, Y'all should have seen that my membership went up and I got a video on my membership. Okay, period. So I know y'all been waiting. I know I've been saying membership, membership, membership. Membership is up and live and a video is on there and it's real good, real juicy. And I kept it kind of mid because I don't know what you can really, really do on there yet. But it's real good, real good, juicy, juicy. And it's real recent. And it got screenshots, it got pictures, it got everything y'all want to see, okay, period. I'm giving y'all what y'all want, so y'all need to go over there and subscribe or join the membership so y'all can really get tea. I'm, I'm spilling what some people look like. I'm spilling conversations, okay? I'm, I'm keeping it as raw and uncut as I think I can. So y'all gonna want to go over there and check out that story time. I just posted over there with all that good tea and juicy stuff on there period okay so as y'all can see from the title this gonna be about the time that um we got caught hunching in kevin's auntie house okay particularly the living room now if y'all watched my one live a minute ago right where it was me and my sis and um we was doing like a never have i ever on there and one of the questions was um or i don't know y'all was just asking this question they was like what is one of the craziest places like you you did it at and i was like on somebody's couch this that story time okay so yeah this story time about kevin when me and kevin was dating now if y'all see me looking down i got my laptop here because um I had to really dig in my memory bank about this. So I wrote some stuff down just so I don't forget some shit. And oh, just a side note. <coughs> Look, somebody had commented down below on one of my story times. Not down below on this story time, but on one of my story times and was like, this story didn't even need notes. <laughs> oh, the story time I told y'all about uh, my neighbor, the old lady and neighbor. And somebody come in with like, this story time didn't even need notes. Y'all, if I took notes on a story time, it's because some stuff I have to really sit back and think about. So I write things down just so I don't forget certain things. Because it's so much stuff that's going on in my life. Some stories just don't stick out as much as other stories. Some, some, some story times is just so memorable that I don't need to take notes and write it down. And then I got so much going on in my life that some things I just need to write down just so I don't forget because my mind just be in a thousand places. Like some story times I don't need to really take notes on because it was like a significant thing in my life and I can like super duper remember it. Certain stories, it ain't that memorable. Like I'm sure it's certain things y'all can remember more than other things. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. So I don't, I really didn't understand her comment. If she was just trying to be smart or if she was trying to say I'm lying about the story that cause I had took notes, but I can literally like y'all, my little sis, my sis that I be going live with and stuff. And if y'all on my Instagram, y'all be seeing I be posting the pictures where my little sis, she was my neighbor. They was going through the same, almost the same thing with this lady. Like none of the shit is, <clears throat> is a lie. Like I don't need to make up stories. Like I can literally, people can literally vouch for these fucking stories. Like mind y'all, like I said, my sis and delusional are twins. I can call up delusional right now and he can vouch everything I fucking said. We was neighbors, period. So, I mean, I don't know if she was trying to indicate that maybe I was lying about the story, but it's not a lie. And I got neighbors 
obviously I dated one of my neighbors. They was living there at the time that can vouch about this fucking lady. So I just needed to write some shit down because I be going through a lot, a lot of shit be in my head, y'all. And like I said, some stories I can remember better than other stories. Other stories I have to really sit down, think about it and writing shit out or typing shit out kind of helps me remember the story. And then certain things come back like, oh, that happened, that happened, that happened. Okay, boom. So that's that on that. I'm not taking it as whatever. Like, girl, I hope you're still watching. No shade towards you. I'm just letting y'all know if y'all don't understand why some stories I have notes on, some stories I don't. That's why. Period. But I love y'all. Okay, so again, like I said, if I'm looking out, it's because I'm looking at stuff just to make sure I ain't leaving nothing out. Okay, so this story takes place in like the summertime i don't remember what year i can't remember i just know it was one of the years me and kevin was dating back in high school and this was like the summertime because at this particular time i was like kevin has like almost every day i would really only go home when i ran out of clothes and i need to go home and wash or get more clothes so i would bring like two three weeks a pair of clothes if i could because i'm I, I, would, I would just be at his house all the time in the summer so one particular week week i don't know if this was like i'm thinking that we left on a weekday um Kevin had asked me, he was like, oh, I'm going, my mom is going to LA. Do you want to come? She asked, she said, if you want to come, you can come. I'm like, all right, cool. So I asked my mom, I was like, oh, okay, you know, Kevin and his mom them, they're going to LA. They want to know if I could come. My mom was like, all right, cool. So at this particular time, like y'all, I was really good. I saved up my money, like any allowances, Christmas money, birthday money. I would get, I was like really saving up my money. So I had money saved because as y'all know, I'm going back and forth to goddamn Kevin house like every weekend. So I had to have money. I'm, you know what I mean? Like my mom would give me money. My uncles would give me money and I would like save my money or whatever. Cool. So, um, yeah, that was happening. So I'm like juiced. I pack like hella stuff because my juice the summertime. Like I know after even the, um, LA trip, I'm still want to stay with Kevin. So I packed a few weeks worth of clothes and stuff. And, um, I get on bar and I get to, um, Kevin's house and um we left that next day I can't remember specific days or times I think we I'm gonna say no this had to be during the, I'm gonna say like a Monday no like a two like I got there on like maybe a Monday we left Tuesday something like that y'all I can't remember anyway though so on the way there we're driving it's me Kevin his little sister and his little brother and his mom. Um, his dad wasn't coming. So we on our way there. Everything's going cool. Like I said, Kevin's mom, hella cool. I was cool with his sister, little brother, whatever. Um, we jamming. We listening to music. Um, we having a good time, y'all. The air in her truck went out. So the air in her truck went out as we was like almost like halfway there. I think we got like to the grapevine. No, that's like L.A. Once you get to the grapevine. Hmm. Was we towards the grapevine? Like, we was getting close up to the grapevine, basically. So, we get close up to the grapevine, the air in her truck went out. Mind y'all, it's summer, it's hot as hell. We in the fucking desert, driving to LA. It's so fucking hot in this car, y'all. Like, we're dying of heat in this car. Like, we're all sweating fucking bricks in this car. We're so fucking hot. It's just so hot. Y'all, we was boiling like some goddamn crabs in a motherfucking pot. Hot. Sweating dripping leaking literally but y'all we make the best of it we plan like road trip games we having fun we laugh and we listening to music we make the best of it you know we don't really too much complain but yeah it was hot you know everyone's gonna be like damn it's hot but other than that like the road trip went cool we have we have fun we get to um the grapevine we stop you know air if y'all don't know we coming from wherever you coming from before you hit that grapevine you need to stop at that little area right there you need to stop and get gas get snacks use the bathroom because once you get in that grapevine ain't no gas station up in there you feel me ain't really no signal up in there so you need to make sure your car is up to par so we stop we try to see if we can get the air to come on everyone come on so we just get water ice creams and stuff like that little snacky snacks use the bathroom and then we hop back in our truck and then we hit the grapevine. We go through the grapevine, all that go cool. You know, finally, by the time we get the, to um, all the way in LA and we get to, um, I think we, I don't know if it was, I think it was one of his cousin's houses that we stayed at the first night. Um, so we get to one of his cousin's house that first night. We stay there. Everybody was like really cool. Y'all, I was really nervous at first because I was just like, you know, 
they Latino and you know some Latino people you know not too fond of black people I'm not saying all Latino people but some people are you know like I told y'all you know at first his dad wasn't too fond of me and I'm not I don't want to say it's because I was black but I don't know but so y'all I was kind of nervous but like when we get there everybody greets me everybody's nice everybody's very welcome I welcoming I didn't feel weird or anything like that so um they have food ready they have like hella food they're like you know, you want this, you want that. They had like tamales, they had pozole, they had all kind of just shit. Just like, oh my God, I love Mexican food. So I'm like, at this particular time, I was still like shy to say I wanted to eat. So I was just like, oh, I'm not really hungry. But I was like starving. And then Kevin was like, no, she hungry. And he like made me a fat ass plate. And like, um, we would sit on the couch and we just eating. Y'all, I gobbled that shit the fuck down. It was hella good. And then his family, they all just, you know, catching up and stuff. You know, they spoke Spanish. So they speak like Spanish. And like Kevin would kind of like translate some shit here and there or whatever. So, but y'all, we having a good time. They had like cousins around our age. Like we chopping it up with them. Everything's going smooth. I'm having a good time. They playing music. Obviously they playing like a Mexican music, but you know, I, I don't have nothing against Mexican music. Mexican music is cool to me. I don't know. You know, I like um, some Mexican songs or whatever. Obviously, Kevin's family was Latino, so I listened to a bunch of Mexican songs. So obviously, I became fond of some of the songs. So I know some of the songs, you know, I'm chilling, I'm having a good time. You know, we talking to the cousins around our age. And of course, his sister was there and I was cool with his sister. So I'm having a cool time. I'm eating. The food was delicious. We had like a good night. We go to sleep. We wake up that day. And that next day, um, I don't know what part of LA this was or what's this called. If y'all know, if you're from the LA area or you've been here, tell me because I be trying to think of where we were and I just really don't know. But basically we went to this like huge swap meet place and then it was like this huge flea market type of scene. It was like on a, like a alleyway and it just had a whole bunch of stuff like you know flea market type style so we went there we walked there we was getting food um i had money so i'm buying hella shit i'm buying me and kevin hella shit just hella dumb stuff y'all know when y'all go to them places you just buy hella dumb shit i'm buying clothes and stuff or whatever just hella stuff you know we having fun me and kevin we go off we do our own little thing y'all we cupcaking we just so excited like our first little vacation together like we was just having so much fun we were just kissing holding hands and hugging and just having so fun and i was just like oh my god i'm glad you invited me like you know he's asking me like are you cool do you feel comfortable all this i'm like yeah i feel good i feel comfortable like i'm cool i'm good so um yeah so we had a good time and then after that like we was there for a couple hours um after that we kind of like drove around did some sightseeing then we went back to another one of his cousin's house and they was all cool everybody was very well for me like i mean i was the only black person but other than that they, they made me feel uncomfortable like i felt comfortable everyone was nice i didn't feel like no one was looking at me funny or saying things in spanish that you know how sometimes you can tell when people talking in Spanish and they might be talking about you, just like when you're at the nail shop and then Chinese people, or they, a lot of times these people in the, in the nail shop don't even be Chinese. They be like, um, Korean or Vietnamese, one of them, I can't think, but you know, they be speaking that other language, but you can tell they talk about you. You don't know what they saying, but you know they talk about you. Yeah. So it didn't feel like that. So they was just like really nice, very welcoming and stuff. Like everybody like spoke to me. Like I had conversations with, you know, people or whatever. So yeah, we was having a good old time that night. And then that next day we went around, we went sightseeing. We went to the um, Hollywood Walk of Fame. And then we went to like the beach and stuff. We spent like a few hours at the beach. And then we went back to his cousin's house. And then we spent the night. And then that next day um, we started heading back to um richmond now at this particular time um kevin's family um moved to sacramento but they still had their house in richmond they were still kind of moving stuff but um i think his grandpa stayed there because um i don't know if i mentioned kevin's grandpa and grandma was it grandma too i just remember his grandma grandpa because his grandpa was telling cool i don't know if it was grandma Maybe grandma, grandma, grandpa. I just remember his grandpa because his grandpa was hella cool. They were staying there and but and they were still staying at the house until um 
they finished moving everything. So sometimes his dad would be out there because at this point his dad was working at two different work sites, sometimes in Richmond, sometimes in SAC, but he was gearing up to everything just, just to be in SAC. So um, Kevin had an auntie that lived in Richmond as well. And we've been in her house before, but we like, never spent the night. We would like, go over there and hang out with her sometime. This was Kevin's mom's little sister. So she was like a young auntie. I'm gonna say shit. She probably was like my my age or younger at the time. Maybe she was like 25 in her 20s. I don't know. She probably wasn't even 30. She was probably like in her early to mid 20s. But she had a place out there and um Kevin was like, oh, because his mom was like, they were just going to stop in Richmond to grab some stuff. And then they were going back home to Sacramento. Like his mom would drive a lot sometimes. But and he was like, well, can me and Shayla stay at my auntie's house? Um, because he had pre-asked his auntie if we could stay. He must have knew. So I don't know. We're going to get there. So he had pre-acted his, his auntie if we could stay at his house. Like when we come back, can we stay at his, her house? And so she was like, yeah, whatever. Cool. So he was just like, Mom, well, can me and Shayla stay at Auntie, let's just say, Carrie House? Can we stay at Auntie Carrie House? And she was like, yeah, um, I'm going to come back and get y'all in a couple days when I come back out here. I'm like, all right, cool. So we made that journey back to um, Richmond, and she drops us off at um, his auntie's house. So we get there. She tell me, cool, um, it's late at night. Um, it's not late at night. It's like getting, cause we left early. No, it's like night. It's like night at this point. Y'all know get no actually. I think the sun was like setting, cause it's like summertime. Y'all know the sun setting in the summertime out here like nine ten. So I'm saying we got there around there about nine ten. She dropped us off and go inside. We saying what's up to the auntie now. I met the auntie before, but I had never like spent the night at her house. So yeah, she like come in. Y'all put your stuff down in the um, guest room. We go in the guest room. We put our stuff down. Um, I hop in the shower. He hop in the shower. Um, and we just chilling in there. Um, his auntie has some food base, so we eat some food. I forget what it was. We eat some food. And then, you know, we fall asleep. We was kind of tired. You know, when you take a road trip, you be like tired after. So we go to sleep, wake up the next day. Um, we chilling and his auntie was like, um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I don't know where she was doing y'all. I don't know, but maybe she went to go spend night at her boyfriend house or something, but she was like, I'm leaving. I'm going to be gone all day and I'm probably not going to be coming back till tomorrow. Um, so y'all make sure y'all take care of my house. Don't be doing nothing y'all doing and don't tell your mom I'm leaving y'all here by y'all self. And of course we're like, why would we, why would we, why would we snitch on you? Like, <laughs> Like, girl, we ain't telling nobody. Cause we probably gonna want to do this again. Like, okay, lit auntie. So we like, yeah, cool. She's like, um, she had made us breakfast that day and she had made like some other food. So she was like, it's food in there, you know, snacks and stuff. You know, I'm, I'm just, you know, if y'all need to make, she had like cereal, just stuff like that we can make on our own in there. Sandwich stuff, shit, shit like that. So cool. So she like y'all should be good, good is you know stuff to drink in there, cereal, all kind of goodies, snacks, whatever. So we're like, all right, cool. So I'm like juiced and like in my mind and in his mind, we was so juiced. We was just like, yes, yes. We not saying it out loud, but we like looking at each other like we already know what's on each other's mind. We like we about to be hunching all up and through here. Cause one thing about me and Kevin. Every little chance we got, we was hunching. Like, Kevin was that one, like, out of all my boyfriends I had, like, <clears throat> me and Kevin hunched the most. Like, we would hunch all the time. Like, all the time. Every chance we could possibly get, we were hunching, hunching, hunching. Like, we was just, like, fucking rabbits, like, all the time. So, yeah, anyway. So, that's, I know that's what he was thinking. I'm thinking, I'm looking at him. We just, she's like, yeah, uh, Okay, yeah, everything gonna be fine when you go. Yeah, yeah, everything gonna be just the way you left it when you came back, girl. Like, girl, bye, go and get the hell on. You leaving any goddamn way. You know we about to, what we about to be doing soon as your ass leave. Go and get the going so me and him can get the hunchy, boo-boo. Because we was just, we was too ready, y'all. We had been just not able to do it for hella long because we had went to that little L.A. trip. And then before that, um we hadn't seen each other for a little minute so i'm just like girl i am hot and ready like a motherfucking hot pocket bitch i need you to leave immediately period like girl bye <laughs> 
<laughs> you good so she's like all right all right i'm trusting y'all and sorry for the noise in the background sorry for the cricket in the background i don't know y'all it's just even it is but y'all gonna get these videos period regardless i don't care what time it is and what's going on i'm a film so that's just what it is i guess the cricket is just the background noise you feel me it's just gonna be my new theme song when i'm filming at night it just did what it is anyway so yeah so finally she lean Y'all, she leave. We gave it like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Soon as 10 minutes hit, baby closed off. We was freaking all through that motherfucker, except for her room. We did not go in her room. The bed, the bathroom, the living room, the kitchen, everywhere we hunched. All we did was eat, hunch, and watch a long order. That's it. That's all we did that whole day, y'all. I'm telling y'all, like, we was just hunting, 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 and she had like beer and shit. And y'all, y'all know, like, certain Latin families, they don't care. Like, we drinking beer, we getting drunk, we is fucked up eating, just having the time of our lives. Like, we was just so juiced, like, yes, yeah, finally, it's been a long time. We ain't got to sneak. We can be loud. So, we just in there wilding. We in there wilding, like, fuck. So, finally, night come, we tired, we exhausted, we go to sleep or whatever. Okay, no. Yeah, so... Yeah, like we was just doing the damn thing. We was just having so much fun, y'all. We had, we actually talked too. We talked like Kevin, like our relationship was just beautiful. Like we had a really good relationship outside of like little stuff, but like we talked like uh, we was just telling each other how much we loved each other, and like he wanted to have kids. He was like, "Come on, let's have kids. Let's have kids." And I'm like, "No, I don't want to have." kids my mom's gonna kill you your dad's gonna kill you like you're gonna get double homicide like no but he really wants to have kids like that's all he talked about because of his uncle and i'm gonna get into like maybe like a mini story time or i included in the series i'm gonna do a, like me and relationship little series that i'm gonna do and maybe include that in there but like they was like really pressuring us to have his uncle was pressuring us to have kids young i have no idea why i guess because he did and whatever but i was just like my mama not going for that sir i am so sorry hell no not that young now i did have dylan kind of young i got pregnant at 17 and i had Dylan at 18 but at that time we was like 14 15 ish that was too young i was not thinking about no babies at that time like hell no like i know i was doing grown shit but not that kind of grown i'm trying to do that kind of grown ass shit a uh, baby no hell no so i'm just like no he's just like i love you we should get married and i'm just like yeah i want to get married have your kids one day but not this young like i don't know why you let your uncle get to you or whatever like we were just having that conversation and i was just like you know like no like your dad already feels some type of way about me he already think you um you're gonna get me pregnant and all that kind of stuff i'm just like no and my mom would have a fucking heart attack like i'm just like no so whatever mind y'all at this particular time we ain't using no motherfucking protection i'm really honestly truly surprised i did not get pregnant like i did start taking birth control like a little bit after this but before this we was just hunching and not using protection y'all i'm really 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 like really 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 like surprised i didn't get pregnant like i was really shocked that i didn't get pregnant but yeah anyways we that night come we go to sleep or whatever mind y'all we didn't go to sleep till like the middle of the night but whatever we go to sleep that next day come we wake up i'm gonna say it's maybe like 10 11 in the morning we get up we eat probably made us some cereal we watch some long order for a little bit and then guess what guess what we here alone we need to make the best of it we know she coming back today we don't know what time i was like so we need to get our last little hunch 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 in so y'all she had like this um y'all know the love seats and the ones that can like rock and stuff so y'all we we get to freak nasty and on this goddamn love rocket seat chair so he is like sitting on the chair and i'm like on top of him and i'm like going to town like we just doing a damn thing 
mind y'all me and kevin y'all like me and kevin really got like the freakiest out of all my relationships me and kevin really got real freaky y'all like we was using chocolate syrup we was using whipped cream y'all like we was doing all that kind of shit like putting fruit and shit on each other and eating it and licking it off like we was really getting buck wild hella young like what the fuck and I miss that kind of shit because I ain't experienced nothing like that as of recently in my adult years. Shit, not at all in my adult years. I ain't did nothing like that, freaky. Now, don't get me wrong. I be getting freaky, but not using the syrup and all that shit. Like, that was some top tier shit back then, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> hey, hey, if you ain't tried it, don't knock it till you try it, baby. I'm telling you. Get that, get that little syrup and that whipped cream. And let me tell you, baby. Yeah, it's going to change your life. Next thing we know, next thing we know, boom, door open. Bitch, when I tell y'all, I tried to fake sleep. Bitch, I just lay flat on him and tried to fucking fake sleep. Mind you, I probably looked the dumb as fuck to her because it's like, bitch, how are you sleep on top of him like that? Like, with y'all clothes on. Mind y'all, we bubbled and naked. We ain't got no clothes on. She shuts the door and walked back in. She was like, I know I'm not seeing what I'm seeing, y'all. She's busting out laughing. She was like, oh, hell no. On oh, my couch? Oh, my couch. Y'all is crazy. Get off my couch. So she walking in the house. She's laughing. I'm like, oh, my God. He like, auntie, I'm sorry, auntie. I'm. She's like, oh, hell no. Not on my couch, though. Not on my couch. She's like, I'm about to go to my room. And by the time I come out of my room, y'all need to be off my goddamn couch and y'all clothes need to be on. So I'm so fucking embarrassed. Like I, I was crippled. Like I felt like I couldn't even really get the fuck up because I was just like, I'm so embarrassed. Like, oh my gosh. Like, are you fucking serious? Y'all auntie just busted on us. Oh my goodness, y'all. But she was like cool. Like she didn't yell at us or nothing. She was just like laughing. She was just like, oh my fucking couch though. Oh my couch though. Like I had this whole room over here, shower, all kind of shit. Y'all do this shit on my fucking couch. So I'm just like, oh my God. So finally he was just like, come on, we need to get up. Come on, come on, come on. So we get up, we go to the room, the spare room, and like we put our clothes on and stuff. I'm just like sitting on the bed. I'm just like, oh my God, your auntie gonna hate me. She's gonna think I'm so fucking slut. She's not gonna like me. She's not gonna let us come back over here. I'm just like, oh my God, like, oh my fucking God. Like I was just so fucking embarrassed. I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So finally, um, it was just like, she she not tripping she not tripping she not tripping so finally she comes she knocks on the door and she come in she was just like hmm so this why y'all wanted to come over huh so y'all could be hunting all in my house and i'm just like i'm sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry it's just like y'all good but just why was y'all on my couch though my couch my couch she was like y'all need to clean up my whole house because y'all probably was throwing it all around my house and she, um she had other couches of course so she was like yeah so we like cleaned up her it wasn't dirty but like we just like washed some of the dishes dishes sweep mop the floor um and maybe just like straighten up the room we was in and um i think she had yeah she like carpet in the room we vacuum and she was like and don't forget to wipe off my couch y'all little nasty ass little freak nasty ass so we walked off her couch or whatever and we chill with her like she we laughed about it a little bit after but we chill with her for the rest of the day like she was cool about it, but like every time we would see her after that, she'd be like, My couch, my couch. It was like an insider because of course she didn't snitch on us or whatever, but because then his mom would have been like, Well, where was you at? But every time she would see us after that, she'd just be like, My couch, my couch. <laughs> and so later on that day, um, Kevin's mom and came picked us up and we went back to sacramento with her so this house he lived in in sacramento i really like this house they had it in sacramento it was like really nice they had like this um cool like you can see out but nobody can see in type of windows like they had the stuff on the windows and then they had the door was like a marble glass it was like different colors their living room like the whole house was like hardwood floors it was like so nice in there and they had a nice backyard um yeah and like the type of job his dad had like he would work days where he wouldn't come home so i don't think he was his dad wasn't there i didn't see his dad too much i saw him enough but not too much like he worked a lot so um 
we get back there to sack um i think his mom cooked some food you know we just chilling there and then like that next day we there um his mom and sister his little brother they had went to the store and of course as y'all can already know as soon as they left went to that store we was like hunching all up in that motherfucking house but we did it like real quick because we knew they was gonna be back quick and then yeah they came back that next day was like a sunday they had all went to church. Usually Kevin has to go, but he told them something and he didn't go. So yeah, then we just hunt y'all that day. Um, we walked around and stuff and Kevin hated living out there. Like he really hated that they, he had to move to sack. Like he was just being like really rude and stuff to his parents at that time. And I was just talking to him like, don't be mad at your parents. You know, they're just doing what they gotta do. Like you can't be mad. Mind you, I'm telling him this cause I know from experience, like he have lived in Richmond in that house, like his whole life up until that point. I've moved all the time as a kid. like. My mom would move like every year or two. Like we lived in many different houses. I lived in Concord and I lived in Georgia and I lived in Texas and I lived in different like cities and stuff. But so I'm used to that. And you know, I understood sometimes why my mom had to do the stuff she had to do. Cause me and my mom used to talk a lot. I was like really connected with my mom. So I was just telling him like, you know, they just want better for you guys. And this is a better environment for y'all because at that time, we Ooh, ooh, my bad. At that time, Kevin was getting like really heavily involved in gang activity. Like he was in a gang with all his little partners and stuff in Richmond and stuff. And it was just really getting really, 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 really out of control. Like he was getting involved with stuff. He had got caught with a little pew pew or whatever. And just like, heck of stuff was going on with him. And it just wasn't a good environment. As y'all know, if y'all didn't um, watch my one story time, I'll put it up here where I was at his house and somebody got pew pew and we saw it right there like not at his house but you know by his house like on his block we saw somebody get pew pew laid out by the motherfucking ice cream man because they tried to rob him so you know it was just a lot of stuff going on richmond is very dangerous and you know it's very easily to get trapped in some shit you don't want to be in mind you all his friends that he was friends with all had went to jail start doing drugs start either selling drugs really heavy in the gang life or they got unalive so it was just like one of those things was gonna happen to him and you know his family just wanted better for him so he was mad about it but whatever and he did eventually move back to richmond after me and him I think broke, yeah, after we broke up, because I'm gonna tell y'all another, when I go through that whole little, what happened with me and him and how I ended and all that, I'm gonna tell y'all, but yeah, he did eventually move back to Richmond in another place, kind of, ooh, too, my dad used to live in Richmond, he, he moved like down the street from, um, where my dad used to live at the time, my dad lived in Richmond, but yeah, like, so, to me, I know he probably didn't like it, and at first I didn't like it because, like, that too was like the ending kind of of our relationship that was kind of affecting our relationship because you know sack wasn't as easy to get to and at the time like i don't know why i wasn't thinking amtrak but i don't know if my mom was comfortable when we getting on amtrak by myself at that time like bart is bart i guess it's like the same thing i mean it would be like the same time i would probably get there within like an hour on amtrak from any because that's where the amtrak station is but um we wasn't able to see each other a lot so that's when i just started like drifting off a little bit because it was just like damn you know we already don't get to see each other every day i only get to see you on the weekends and now you live in sack and i can't really see you as much so we kind of started drifting apart but um i was still you know going out there like the times his mom would like come out to richmond she would come pick me up drop me off some time like my mom would give her like gas money and stuff like that sometimes so yeah but it was just like becoming too much but um yeah y'all that was the time we got called hunching on his auntie couch and yeah like y'all i was just really 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 embarrassed like but i'm like so glad like it was her who caught us because she was like super cool about it i feel like if we would have got caught doing something like that at his house his mom for sure would have cussed him out she probably would have yelled at me 
but if his dad would have caught us i probably would have never ever 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 been allowed to come back over there ever 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 that would have been it done done dada so yeah but yeah y'all that was this story time i hope y'all enjoyed this story time and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video i'm a vibe you a vibe we should vibe so you should what you should like comment share and subscribe but only if you want to only if you want to only if you want to if you're watching that's really all i appreciate we are on the road to 5k subscribers once i get to 5k subscribers y'all i am gonna do a giveaway i'm still doing a giveaway for my 3k subscribers y'all just so much stuff been going on i'm gonna pick a winner and i'm gonna tell y'all what y'all get in give me some time please so just bear with me but when we get to 5k i am going to be doing a 5k giveaway and i'm going to be giving y'all the series of how i lost my v card and how i was in an entanglement with two cousins and how that shit went all the way motherfucking left so subscribe 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 but only if you want to tell your mama tell your auntie tell your grandma tell your sister tell your sister to tell her friends to tell her friends to tell her friends to tell her friends to tell her mama and her aunties to subscribe but only if y'all want to only if y'all want to shout me out repost do all that good stuff if you want to if not it's cool it's cool we go eventually gonna get there i want everything to be organic do it if you want to i'm not gonna be screaming at y'all like y'all need to like and comment and subscribe no do it if you want to eventually we will get to the 5k and we're gonna get to them um to that series also i told y'all i am gonna be doing the call center series in december y'all i don't think i'm gonna be able to get y'all that in order i'm gonna try but i'm not gonna promise y'all but i promise y'all i'm gonna talk all about this call center in december that's december is gonna be all about the goddamn call center okay so i'm gonna give y'all a bunch of story times about the call center i also want to do um I'm going to be telling y'all a story time of how my mom found out I really, really smoked weed. How I got caught, me and my bestie, and because that happened in December. And I'm going to do a story time on how breastfeeding almost took me out and I had to go to the hospital on Christmas. And then my sister got sick and had to go to the hospital on Christmas. Me and my sister was in the hospital on that Christmas. Yeah, so I'm going to give y'all those story times and yeah so y'all stay tuned um i'm still gonna post in november just i'm probably not gonna post as frequent in november i think i'm gonna post maybe like twice a week maybe in november and then boom vlogmas so yeah because i'm posting so much in october we just gonna slow it down a little bit for november and then we're gonna bring it right back up for uh, for december so yeah y'all stay tuned and um yeah i'm see y'all my next video deuces Y'all, I don't, I swear, as soon as I get to record and stuff, just want to be loud, like, nothing was, all day, silent, I get ready to record, all this noise, and here this cricket go, okay, I'm about to shut the garage door, hold on, y'all, because I'm not dealing with this, I'm not dealing with it, I'm not dealing with it, I'm not dealing with it, hold on, okay, but I forgot what I was saying, so, yeah, anyways, join my membership i mean yeah join my membership it's good tea over there and yeah okay okay y'all so i just had my brother shut this garage because i tried to do it and i broke my fucking nail so now i gotta cut all my nails now i'm irritated i should have just asked him in the first place and you can kind of still hear the cricket so really waste of time waste of breaking my nails Ugh, i'm so arrow <sighs> so i gotta cut all my nails once one break all of them gotta go start over i was supposed to record in the daytime but i didn't now it's night now it's cricket want to be cricketing and you can still hear it so now i'm just extra mad Broke my nail for no reason. They was just getting back how I like them. Maybe it's just not meant to be. What's up, Arrow? But y'all, I gotta get these videos done. Because I'm really trying to...
keep this vlogtober going. Been posting every day except on the weekends. Go me. Sorry for all the noise in the back. I am just so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry, but it is what it is. Hopefully, I can maybe talk over the, the noise. 